Hi, this is Kevin Thomas, and I'm an application engineer with Rodian Schwartz here in San Diego at our LTE Innovation Summit 2014. And today we're going to talk about uh, envelope tracking and uh, the Rodian Schwartz solutions for, for measuring that, that system. So, we'll start with the generator. Uh, what we have is uh, our vector signal generator, SMW200A. And for envelope tracking, uh, we, we really just start with a, the basic single path vector signal generator, but we provide some other things. Uh, for envelope tracking, we start with uh, an IQ baseband signal, and um, in order to provide the envelope, we take uh, the magnitude of that squared y squared q squared. So we we take that signal, calculate it, apply that to some differential outputs uh, on the generator. That's that's the first thing. Uh, the other thing is we ab apply the ability to uh, change the delay between the RF and the envelope signal uh, at at a, at the device. So this is a critical parameter for getting envelope tracking to work properly. Then we uh, apply uh, a shaping table, uh, lots of different forms of shaping table that you can import or draw your own. Uh, this this uh, relates the input power, output power to the supply voltage that you'd be uh, creating. And the other thing is some, some controls for how your uh, DC modulator would work. And uh, finally, some digital pre-distortion. So we can take a signal from here, send it to the analyzer, measure its distortion characteristics, calculate them, and load them in as a table into uh, the generator and um, apply them to the waveform and then send that signal out and make the measurements. So you can see what happens pretty much immediately uh, once you've applied digital pre-distortion to, to the signal. So you can turn that on, turn it off, apply it to only the baseband or the RF, however you want to do it. And the spectrum analyzer, uh, generally we have, we have the RF input and we have some analog baseband inputs. This is normal for a signal analyzer. The unique feature in the FSW is that these, uh, the baseband inputs and the RF inputs are synchronous, which is to say we can make measurements on these analog baseband inputs at the same time we make measurements on the baseband. So that, for example, uh, over here we have a connection uh, that's a voltage sense on this board. We could also connect this differential probe and measure current. Uh, it's a tricky business, but uh, you can measure the current, voltage, and RF simultaneously. This would give you an instantaneous power added efficiency. Uh, all of this value uh, is coming out through IQ outputs out of the signal, uh, I'm sorry, the signal analyzer into this software. And this software measures basically everything you, you need to measure. So we've got, uh, we've got a time domain shot. We've got the I input, the Q input, which would be the voltage and the current. And then we can simply calculate the power and the instantaneous power added efficiency directly here. Uh, we have a spectral shot so we can get some ACLR measurements. Uh, we have an a AM to AM plot so you can see when you're going into compression, uh, AM to PM as well. We have some time domain shots of the timing between the RF and these baseband signals. We have some raw EVM numbers, RMS power and peak power values. So basically the, this software uh, takes a reading of the waveform before you play it so we can do some uh, demodulation and get you some raw EVM values. And all these things can be updated uh, very quickly. And uh, once we, for example, take a plot of this AM to AM and AM to PM, we can simply press this button. It will upload the table into the signal generator for DPD, and we can then apply that DPD by turning it, turning it on, either to AM to AM, AM to PM, or both. And you can see the effect immediately uh, on the software. So this is a very powerful, very fast way of characterizing a PA in a, in a kind of a complete way under, under envelope tracking conditions. So that's our envelope tracking solution.